I'm Ali Bell and I work for National Express West Midlands. Uh, we run about 90% of the buses uh, across the West Midlands. So uh, for us, obviously, the clean air zone is a huge thing. And we've been working really closely with Birmingham City Council and Transport for West Midlands on how to get ready for this and make it a, an opportunity for real modal shift and behaviour change. Um, I think when we were talking to the University of Birmingham about this, they said that the answer that they get from people is always, well, I would, but, I would, but. So what we've been doing for the last few years is making sure that some of those buts um, have been ironed out and they're not necessarily excuses anymore. We've been doing everything we can to make it an attractive choice to get on the bus and not something that, you know, is a is a but. So um, we, in National Express West Midlands, we have bought our last diesel bus. Uh, it's a double-decker. It runs around Coventry. It's out there at the moment. I think she's called Janet. Uh, so from now on, our entire 1,600 buses fleet is going to be zero emission. So every Everything we buy from now on is going to be either electric or hydrogen and we also run the white coaches that you see on the motorways that whole fleet will be zero emission by 2035 and the bus fleet will be zero emission by 2030 um, so obviously that's a massive investment but we've also had to deal with uh, all the buses that we have existing we can't just swap out 1600 buses straight away so what we're doing is uh, retrofitting the older buses we take out their exhausts and we put in new exhaust systems which um, kind of burn all the nitrogen oxides that are harmful and they can just kind of turn them into ash that can then just be disposed of so it doesn't go out into the air uh, so we're already running uh, 29 electric vehicles in Birmingham, Solihull and Coventry so we're really positive about those and Birmingham City Council has ordered 20 hydrogen double-deckers and they'll be arriving this spring and we'll be operating them when they, when they, when they arrive on the routes in, in Birmingham. So that's the vehicles. Um, the other thing that we've been working really hard on to attract people to bus is, is the routes. Um, so we've been trying to look at the network as a whole so it harmonises a bit better with um, the metro, the tram system and also the trains. We've also been working really hard with Transport for West Midland and Birmingham City Council on trying to get um, what we call a cross-city network so the bus doesn't just drop you at your edge of the city because if you work on the other side of the city that means you've got quite a long walk actually to get to the other side of the city um, so we're trying to open up the city centre Birmingham city centre um, so that the buses can get right through and actually deliver people to where they want to be so another thing that people often say is you know buses are too expensive um, so we have at National Express not we've brought in fares cuts and freezes for the last four years so since 2017 um, so that means like the day save your standard day saver ticket costs the same today as it did in 2013 we've also promised that any job retention bonus that the COVID thing that we might get from government we will put into reducing bus fares so that's how we're going to kind of give that back to our customers and the region um, We've also tried to make uh, some new tickets called kind of you know flexi fares because people are telling us that they even when they're allowed to go back to the office they might not necessarily be working five days a week. Um, so we've got kind of bundles that you can um, use if you work regularly or if you don't know how many days a week you're going to go in you can just kind of buy them and use them. So we're hoping that that fits people's work patterns better. And uh, there's some figures on the slide about. Um, Top Gear's reasonably priced car because we think that now people are not going to be driving into work every every day in a week that makes cars even more expensive and it makes the bus even better value if you, if you look at some of the figures on there. So the other kinds of tickets are um, kind of three day capping, um, seven day capping, we're even um, talking to Sustrans and British Cycling about whether there's some kind of uh, rainy day ticket that we can provide for cyclists because we think that um, you know cycling and public transport are kind of good bedfellows and some people might want to walk or cycle and then on the rainy days or the days that you've got lots of stuff or you're going out after you might want a bus ticket so how do we provide that so that you can do either or without having to worry about oh but you know what's the best value bus ticket. Um, and the other thing we're doing is we're working um, with loads of uh, kind of employers, the big universities, um, the police uh, and also the job centre so that we can get organisations or institutions 
to issue people with bus tickets that that are kind of that they think they should have that they're entitled to they can do it on an internet um, page that we provide them and then it shows up on the person's phone so basically that's all the things that we're trying to do um, to make bus travel attractive ready for the clean air zone in Birmingham uh, later this year um, we do find that when people try the bus they like it so hopefully some of these things that we're trying will make it even more attractive and once people are on they'll decide that you know behavior change is actually quite easy